Hey guys, here we are for the final round coverage. This is the back 10 of the PDGA US Women's Disc Golf Championship brought to you by Innova Disc Golf and the PDGA. I'm Lisa Fakus. And I'm Madison Walker. Uh, commentating on myself, it's very awkward. I'm having a rough round. Uh, Paige taking the lead, Holly just behind her, Vanessa still hanging on. Yeah. Um, and we enter into the last 10 holes of the tournament. Uh, Hole 10 is a pretty straightforward shot, 360 feet, it's definitely a rip. Uh, there's out of bounds on the road on the right. You can either play it straight at it and try to work the uh, flex line or you can go big hyzer around, um, which is putting yourself maybe uh, dealing with the OB. It's crunch time here. These ladies are ready to fire away. Paige is going extra wide here. Boom in. Plenty of distance, lots of power, probably too much power. Yeah, she skips deep of the pin yeah. into the shul. Way deep. <laughs> Just a bit. The only person that will have that problem. <laughs> Holly, working the hyzer as well, I kind of expected her to take a more direct route. That's more of her playing style, but she takes the hyzer route and Dang, puts it right at work. There. Sticks to her game plan. Mm -hmm. Nessa booms one out there as well, working the full flex. Nice shot. Good control. She's going to land just short of that tree. Still have a wide open putt. Madison, look like you're beelining it. I was planning on it. Uh, I got over the top of that, that one. To, to just come back a little bit. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Shrike doing destroyer things. <laughs> Safely in bounds ripped that one on an Annie and somehow I still managed to get it to come it's back at like the end. like a 55 footer putt or yeah. something like that. It's out there. Yeah. Vanessa just pitches up, which surprises me. Maybe there's a low ceiling. Maybe there's some awkward stance. Ollie has a big 45 footer. I love the graphic. And Ooh, solid hit for two. Ching. Mm. She's such a good putter. That's huge. Her long distance putting is just so much fun to watch. I mean, she could put wow. any putt in at any time. Nice. Try to run at it. Ooh, a lot of metal there. Rolling Good some touch. rolling. <laughs> Paige went deeper in the shul than she hoped. Has so much stuff to contend with, but yeah, she'll have an easy power. Yep. All the baskets were kind of leany. It was kind of fun. Taking our pars and moving on. Still, mm -hmm. still haven't found a birdie. <laughs> hole 11, one of the longer holes out here as a par four. Downhill off the tee. You want to stay in this middle gap here. You can be left to be okay as well as right, but you want to stay center. It goes a little bit uphill as well. Pass the Frasers. And the basket's up on an ant mound. There's Moby Road behind it, but it really won't come into play. Uh, only really problems you can get into is going too far right and ending up in the other fairway or in the really thick shul that's in between the two fairways. Nice rip. Yeah, Holly goes hyzer route. She really commits to it, and she gets Sweet. way down there. Is what you want. Paige looking to throw a big bomb on the tee. Really Maybe flex. an anheuser, yeah. Didn't come out though. Yeah, she doesn't quite get on it as much as she wants to and early releases. There, will, Like Lisa said, there is some still some room to work on the left side of the fairway. Mm -hmm. Vanessa keeps it low, maybe a little too low, and she may be playing with that pine tree on her second shot. Trying to flex my distance too. Don't quite get over on it enough. Mm. I'm gonna go check out what this left side's all about. Mostly open. Yeah, not on, bad. For your footing. And uh, didn't get a run up on that shot. Nessa forced to work a hyzer. She doesn't have any low shots. And she's just looking to get up there in the middle of the fairway. Nice. 
She tombstones one literally right in the middle. Going to set herself up for a nice easy third shot. He's ripping a nice distance flick. Getting way down there. Using the downhill to her advantage. Kelly's doesn't quite turn over as much as she wanted, but even though she's tucked to the left, she'll still have a uh, an out to get up to the pin. Mm -hmm. Forced to throw a forehand as well. Mm -hmm. And get a lot of power on that shot. It's coming nice and low past that last tree, exactly where you want to be. I've been having to limit the distance forehands because my elbow's been giving me some grief, so it felt good to really get one off that and hit the line that I want it to. Yeah. Vanessa gets way down there, sets herself up for a putt that we know she can make. Put her up the hill for Paige. After a big forehand, that's so awesome. She'll have a really easy par. Holly has some, some shrubs to contend with. It's a carry. Oh, a high ceiling grabbed her. Still with Holly, we never know. She could make any putt. Trying to up the right side. Just hoping for it to hyzer a little bit more, but I'll be inside the circle. Mm, good run. This hole, I think... It is threeable, but man, you really have to throw a perfect tee shot. Wow, solid again with the slow mez. Boom. Lovely. She's psyched. Got my putt back. Mm -hmm. I'm nice. So excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be a tambourine. Something to smile about. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Holly with the with a rare bogey. She yeah. hasn't, she's been. I, don't wanna, I think she's been bogey free out here today. Yeah. She's hasn't had a lot, if any. Nope. Um, she's in the hunt, and if there's one person in the FPO field that wants a win, it is Holly Finley. That girl is a fierce competitor, and she is in the hunt, out for blood. Uh, hole 12, this is a different tee pad than we played in the uh, short round, a little bit further back, and it gives you a little bit more of a clean hyzer shot. Um, makes the hole, I think, a little bit more gettable, less lucky. Yeah. Um, just kind of pitch a hyzer up there, and Give yourself a putt. Mm -hmm. It's really tight, really straight off the tee. There's two trees right there. You want to hyzer, you want to go past that and then hyzer. So Paige kind of stays wider. Gets tangled up. However, that's still a putt. Mm -hmm. Vanessa just absolutely pimps it. She goes in earlier than you want, but oh, so she gets around him, no problem. Nice. Shorter putt. I get over on it again here. Backhand is feeling a little funky too, but I get a lucky kick Ooh. and I play out for you. Yeah, yeah. play the circle's edge. Sweet. Holly deals with another laugh. The old backswing, <laughs> early releases, gets knocked yeah. straight down. Pops up. It looks like those trees are going to bother her putt maybe a little bit mm -hmm. on the green. Paige went and checked out the green right before she threw this. Decided to run for it. Good run. Oh, stop. It's kind of a nasty roll. Oh, shoot. Tucks her around on the side where she has to contend with those guardian trees on the green. Holly for her birdie look. Oh, yeah, those trees really block the basket from that angle. She gets kicked out to the right. That's where you want to be kicked out to. Yeah. Nice. 
found a birdie. <laughs> it's my first one of the round. Yay, what a lovely putt. <laughs> and my fist doesn't want to leave. It's like, no, I want to stay here. <laughs> Age with a huge par save. There Such a go. great comebacker. Wow. Vanessa for birdie. Yeah, a... Nice. No problem. Kind of a death putt there. She just Big fully putt. commits. Yeah. Holly looking to stay for a par here. No okay. problem. Yeah. Two birdies, two pars. Good hole. Well, 13, we got some OB on the left and the right here. Very those, technical. Yeah, and those circles. Um, but it's reachable. You want to reach it to the mouth area right here through this lane, if you can. Um, be a great landing zone. And pitch up for a three. Um, there is OB right behind the basket as well. We might see uh, Paige, a bigger arm, kind of try to bite off around the corner. Um, but most of us are just going to try to go straight. Oh, that's That can happen on this hole. There's a couple early trees, both left and right, that you can clip. And Vanessa early releases. It's so hard to pick up your par when you do that. I turn over this disc a little bit, but I'll still have a look at the basket. Yeah, that's being it. long on that side is straight. Yeah, if at you're the gonna basket. if you're gonna error, that's the place to error. Yep. Paige is going big. <sighs> really plays with that right side tree. Too high. That needs to be safe. Wow, lots of forward distance. Mm -hmm. Way down there. She'll have a t kind of a tough out, but for I a miss, gosh, if you if she would have like nailed that shot, she probably would have been at the pin. Mm-hmm. Holly, nice work on the disc. Keep flipping. Kind of hyzers a little earlier Keep than you flipping. want. Yeah, she's pinched on the left side. It's going to be a really, really tough approach from there. So much better than being more left, though, because you'll be OB. Yeah. Vanessa just pitches out to the mouth. She plays, again, smart, not hard. She's going to take her bogey, take her medicine, mm -hmm. um, not try to be too aggressive on her next shot. Holly can't quite get it up there. She just yeah, plays she kind of short too. arms it like she had to, which is going to leave her a little bit of a longer putt. Oh. Get out there, throw a little hyzer flip. That was a sidewinder thrown kind of softly. One of my favorite shots in disc golf. Smart layup here from Vanessa. Let's get close. That'll work. She doesn't want to play with that OB to the left side of the basket, so she oh. pitches out right. Comes into play quite a bit. Yep. Paige puts it right underneath, no problem. Just gonna get her par and move on. Holly looks like maybe 50 ish. Get up. Runs at it so hard. Really good run. Yeah. Such a touchy putt. Yeah. Vanessa with a death putt, spooky save. Makes it look easy. I have a long par save. Still, still have my putt. <laughs> I'm still excited. <laughs> Holly will tap in her bogey and Paige will save a par. Moving on to the wide open hole 14, it's pretty much a straightforward hyzer. Um, you don't want to go too deep because those bushes right behind the basket are so thick. So just keeping it wide, um, mm -hmm. keeping it short is the play, mm -hmm. giving yourself a putt. The only thing you don't want to get tangled up in the trees that are early on the fairway, the bushy trees. So as long as you give it some height, you should be fine. And then there's that one Christmas tree on the right side, just past those taller... Um, I don't put it as far out as I would like. Yeah. Eyes are out there early into the okay. bushes. I'm inside the circle, but 
Yeah, the taller grass, when that ends, there's a, there's a tree right there that tends to grab your hyzers if you're not high enough. Page is going extra wide, but comes back. Yeah, some hard skips. Uh, and the tree line filters into the bushes. Might make that work. That needs to get up. Ah, oh, just passed it. No problem. She's a little shorter than she wants to be, but we all know Vanessa's got those putts. There you go. Lots of height on that one. She throws it really great inside the circle. Gets just around that guardian tree on the green. Definitely Boom! A big tester putt. Yay, Flomez. Yeah. She really hugs that guardian tree and still uh, gets it to Heiser into the basket. No prob. God, her putters were just on fire this whole round. So cool to watch. I'm actually sitting on the ground. Oh, dang. I had no look at anything. Tough that was kind one. of a, that was a blind forehand from inside I've the circle. I've never even practiced that shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't have any other options. I literally couldn't do anything. Wow. Paige also pretty pretty guarded inside the circle. Oh, dang it. Throws it right side. Great putt. Just doesn't want to stick. Mm. Holly misses a putt here. This is the first time she's missed a putt <laughs> pretty much the whole round. <laughs> no doubt, yeah. She's been playing hot. So Vanessa with the only birdie here. Nice bar save. Mm -hmm. well, okay, we got hole 15 now, and it's a shorter distance here, but we're going slightly downhill. Both uh, oh, players are taking both the hyzer and the forehand lines on this hole. OB sand traps that come into play as well inside the circle, those two on the left, and then on the right, a little bit outside the circle. Backhand here from Vanessa. So this backhand hyzer line is not something I even knew existed <laughs> until I watched other women do it during the rounds. So it's not something I even thought to practice. So. Right, because um, yeah. the sand trap, it kind of falls where your um, hyzer might land, it yeah. seems like. Um, it's a little bit scary. I this agree. is one of the only holes that does have a lot of trouble you can get into as well. So um, it's kind of weird to all of a sudden have to throw like kind of a finesse shot yeah. when you've been able to just kind of unload on the other holes. Mm -hmm. I catch a little early, early, yeah, early tree, bounce straight down, no filter here. Come on, baby, swing. Paige mm. has the same problem. Almost made that work. Holly likes the hyzer line. Boom. Stop. Great yeah. shot. Such a great shot. She almost hits the basket. Almost aces. Mm -hmm. Just barely stays in bounds. It's a touchy hole. Boom. Good hyzer. Paige looking to pick up a birdie here. It's like a jump putt floater. Almost puts it in. Yeah. She's still got a three-stroke league, so she doesn't really need to do a whole lot. She just needs to keep things safe. But Yeah, we only have four holes left after this. Paige, so. Yeah, Paige, <laughs> just a little scream. I was wanting another birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa with the bird. Holly will do the same. Solid, Vanessa. Yeah, she's, she's really putting the pressure on. Paige wants to keep scoring mm -hmm. keep her distance there you go Good party. But holly and vanessa are both bringing the heat definitely they're not they're not slowing down that's for sure three more short holes that are really birdieable left and then hole 18 is a little longer but still a birdie opportunity there so anyone's game heading down the final stretch here he's got the two-stroke advantage we're moving on 15b here that 
last temporary hole on this side of the course. Very tight. <laughs> Very tight, interesting hole, yeah. Um, maybe something really stable, maybe something really straight, whatever you like. Anything that'll push you up to the pin. Kind of a filler hole, uh, just to get from one basket to the next tee pad. Not the greatest hole on the planet, but we'll definitely see some birdies here. Yep. So the stable route. Um, more neutral. Uh, Vanessa's throwing kind of a turnover shot there, giving her a longer putt. Maybe just outside circle edge or so. Holly's still working the full run up. Oh, sneaks it through, gets a little kick right to the pin. Yeah, I know. Got some really nice tree love there. I'm trying and. to stand still backhand, oh, and no. not my strong suit. Oh, this hole. <laughs> I know, Ugg. <laughs> um, I wanted it to low. I was trying to work the skip shot, but I just grip it a little bit too long. Yeah, it's the right idea. It's just so touchy. Paige gets through it nicely. I try to do the Lisa route, which is <laughs> skip it in. When in doubt, throw your firebird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got the ace during doubles, and Courtney McCoy got the same. Uh, I got the ace as well on this hole. Oh, did she? I didn't yeah, know I awesome. believe the last round she aced this hole with the Firebird. It's not an easy ace line, that's for sure. She skipped it in too. So. Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. Firebird skip hole. Vanessa with a huge birdie, just bringing the heat. She continues to just birdie mm -hmm. on a roll. It's crazy when you're in the stretch for a major like that, and you're still just canning these bigger putts with so no problem. So good. So good to be feeling it, be online, be confident, and trust your practice. It's a good hit there. Getting the par. Okay, to the birdie as well. Holding yeah. on to her two-stroke league. Yeah, that was a big birdie there. Vanessa and Holly also just hanging on. Got another good opportunity here for Birdie. It's right in everyone's wheelhouse. Really straightforward though. Just, just be straight at it, basically. Uh, backhand is the most popular play, I believe, here. Yeah, there you can go forehand or backhand, just whatever you can get to go straight and 287 feet. The only thing you don't want to do is go to the right. Um, there's a, some pretty intense shul over there. Um, any early tree kicks too can make your approach pretty difficult. This is a really tight gap off the tee, so. Um, as long as you can get through that initial gap. Oh, Vanessa just down quite a bit, but turn that over early. Gets a really friendly kick back out to the fairway. Could have been way worse. Yeah. Holly tries to get her just to flip up and go straight. She hides her shot early, but she'll have a uh, she'll have a really easy up and down as well. Mm -hmm. Page through the putter, and that also came out early. It's open over there, so it's not a bad place to error if you're going to error. Nope. Yeah, she got the distance. I opt for the forehand here. I okay. don't love that tight gap. I don't want to turn yeah. my back to it. Oh, okay. It's just a tough forehand line, but you're making it work. I like to throw the hyzer flip here. It's a sidewinder. Um, I think it's a really good play. I yeah, for practice sure. had no problem. I filter out a little <laughs> bit right. Yeah. <laughs> practice is so much easier. That's all. Dude, I mean, <laughs> practice is easy. Yeah. I, I think I shot like three down and I'm like five over mm. in the round. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Yeah. Little practice. <laughs> Holly running at it super hard. She wants that birdie. A little bit of an awkward stance, Anheuser putt with some little branches right in my line. Let's go. Nope. Oh, Won't give almost. it enough leg. Nope. I'll just still hang out with my one birdie. End of the day here. <laughs> yeah. Let's get up there. Ooh, out the backside. All the way in. A lot of spin on that disc. Wow. So much action. So much action. <laughs> Chain star. Chain star. <laughs> I know. Paige is very dramatic here on that shot, which I love. Showing us how she showing her emotions on her sleeve. Holly and Vanessa looking to just tap in their pars. Me and Paige are gonna do the same. And you want to see a birdie on the lead card on that hole, but it doesn't happen. Super so. surprising. 
We move on. That's okay. Next hole was very short and dirty <laughs> bowl also. Paige <laughs> wants to wring that basket's <laughs> neck. So this long tee, they don't quite go all the way back to where it is. Um, it's way tucked back in there. It's a bl The basket's blind from, uh, from back there and you kind of just want to throw a turnover backhand or a forehand and get it in this island. Um, we had a strong right left to right crosswind here that made the shot a little bit trickier. Yeah, um, you it don't, did. You don't want to do a, a lot of um, angle play in that type of wind. Hmm. And you kind of have to. Yeah. Um, so a lot of players are actually going long are, are just coming out short as well. Um, nice in the circle there. So this is an island green, but it plays as a hazard. Mm -hmm. um, Yep. So you take it where it lies if you don't la land in that circle island. Get up. There you go. All these squeaks went over the wall. Hits the rock. Just like she planned it. Paige with the putter turnover. One of her favorite shots. Holly told me not to tell anyone, but she actually didn't know that tee pad was there and had never practiced it. So that was her first time throwing. <laughs> and now we're telling yeah, everyone. <laughs> but look at her. She still throws it. makes it look so easy. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to practice because... Try out for the forehand. Show a little bit too much face so and I get good. a really big blow. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Stay in bounds. Yeah, that was happening quite a bit. Just carrying long on this hole. Yeah. Buzzes the basket high and... Then I have a headwind putt, throw it confidently, and doesn't lift at all, so kind of a... Oh, bummer. I know. A double tough. penalty on that one. Not the way I want to finish the round. No, that's tough. I know. I I feel you there. Mm, that Paige one sticks. Makes a really long birdie putt. That'll, that'll give her a good three-stroke advantage. Actually... Finley is going to tap in her two here. Oh, excuse me. It's not really a tap in, but she's putting for two after Vanessa putts for two. Solid. The All day. Lady's showing how it works. So, so good. I'm not really blending in, but <laughs> I'm still there. <laughs> All three of those. Ladies on the island take their birdies and move on. Nice birdie from the surprise tee box from Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Paige still has a two-stroke lead going into the last hole where she has an advantage as yeah. well. Yeah, this is it. Yep, this is a distance advantage hole. You can pitch this little uh, putt down to the bottom where the drone is flying, or you can go over the top left. Um, we'll see Paige doing that and uh, maybe another couple ladies on the card as well. Uh, pretty little green with a fountain. And uh, yeah, just want to take your part. Maybe get a birdie putt. Nice and clean over the top. Didn't see where that... Oh, there it is. Boom. Whoa. Yeah, she gets Huge. it so far down there. That's awesome. I know Vanessa had some good distance, but man, that takes a really perfect shot, a really perfect angle to get it that far down there. No, no kidding. Gosh, that's a really high level execution. Holly plays it safe. Um, I her, like it. Her normal line, she'd rather stay in the woods than go booming over the top. Yeah, super good straight line. Paige really looking to uh, capitalize. She hits the power line here, Whoa. redirects, and still gets way down there. Crazy. Yep. Imagine She's... if she didn't hit that power line. Yeah, right? I choose to go over the top as well, just have a little fun with it. I'm already... Fading and oh, no, no, yeah, no. catch a limb, drop straight down. Okay, you got out. That's yep. really important. Kind of. I was definitely. Tough you can be shoulder. way more in there. Yeah, I didn't have a way to get to the basket. I just had to pitch mm -hmm. out because the volleyball net was in the way. Yeah, so but I now you're free over there at least. But yeah, that's a tough one. No way to save my par. It was kind of a bummer to go bogey bogey on the last two oh, holes. No doubt. Such it's is still life. a great tournament. Yeah, overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holly with a long putt to save par. Yeah. Solid. So good. Huge putt. Wow. Great tournament, Holly. 15 yeah, under. I was rooting for her. She really, she's been hunting for this win for a while now, and she played so well this yeah, week. Yeah, so proud. 
She's improved so much, and Paige just pitches it up there, not trying to do anything crazy. She knows it's still close enough to where she can't doesn't want to mess up. Vanessa's drive again. Ooh, she wanted that one. She wanted her solo, uh, solo second place. Oh, yeah, that would have been for it. For the second, now tap in does tie for third. Solid. Mm -hmm. Yep, all day. She's been putting like a machine. Her and Holly basically have this, like, a kind of the same round. Um, yeah. And I'm ready to be done. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long week here at the Major. A lot of stress, but Paige... Ooh, there you go. Taps in her 2018 car. 2018 United States Women's Disc Golf World Champion. And she says, I finally did it. <laughs> she was very excited. Nice. Oh, Paige. Mm -hmm. And congratulations to Holly and Vanessa also tying for second there. Really, really awesome round and um, really hot shooting for this tournament. Yeah. Also, Madison, way to go. Shooting <laughs> yourself up to the lead card. Awesome really fun to watch you yeah play Tatar comes out to tie for third it looks like Vanessa takes solo oh wait Holly. that's backwards okay this Vanessa and Holly tied for second gotcha um great tournament Paige finally got her major and now we'll get to watch her at the USDGC as well um congratulations to her I hope you guys enjoyed the finale round my name is Madison Walker and I'm Lisa Fakus and we'll see you guys next time